I'm not really sure what to mention about today's video. It's just some good fungal nails. You'll see one good nail that hasn't been affected and you'll hear me tell the patient that it isn't uncommon and it, it really isn't. If you go back and look at a lot of the fungal nails that we treat or that you've seen in these videos, oftentimes patients will have one good nail that hasn't been affected and a lot of the time it's the one right next to the baby toe, the one we call the fourth toe. So can I explain it? No, but it's just kind of an interesting thing that we notice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Very nice gentleman um, and Nurse Deb with me today. So um, here we go. Alrighty, so it looks like it's been a while. Yeah, it has been. Since these were trimmed, was the last time you had it done over with Soul Care for Souls? No, it was at um, Midwest Podiatry. Oh, okay. So I like the way they did it. Okay. What didn't you like about it? Well, she just dived right in there. Okay. I was used to getting them soaked before they get clipped and ah. so. So I guess I don't know. I maybe have been here. Yeah, there's just here and also in my office there's just no way oh, yeah. logistically to do that. Right. And right. here there's nowhere to do it. Yeah, I understand that about here, yeah. Yeah. For me, it doesn't make it easier to have them yeah. soaked. So some some people like it better, but for me it doesn't make it harder or easier. Mm-hmm. But all right, so if anything I'm doing is hurting you, let me know. Would you put your, your video on YouTube? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give you Her the name, name is Dr. Nail Nipper. Dr. Nail Nipper. Okay. Yeah, this mm -hmm. instrument is called She's a nail nipper. She's famous. Uh -huh. All right, so we're going to do this in little pieces here, okay? Okay. If it starts to hurt, you let me know. That one's just going to come right off. I'm glad you got in here today. You needed Me it. Me too. In fact, that was the last name you signed up on there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, I seen the list was already 14 names on it. You snuck in. Yeah, we try to cap it at 12, mm -hmm. but, you know, if somebody really needs it, we'll stay a little longer. Right. Don't let that get out, though. I will. The doctor, <laughs> Dr. Martha told me that you guys were coming. Okay. She works hard all day, then comes over here, so yeah. she's already put in a day. Yeah. But this is why she comes out to help somebody like you because right. you have yeah. such she serious does, she does a lot for problems me. with your toe. Yeah, and my medication and stuff. She does. She does a lot for me. Oh, the nurse here. Yeah, the doctor. Yeah, the Martha. Dr. Martha. Oh, well, okay. We don't know her. Yeah, she does. Now, she come out Wednesday. Oh, okay. She only come out Wednesday. But Joe, I heard you guys talking about Joe. He used to help me out a lot too when he was here a couple Oh, years wasn't ago. he a joy? Mm -hmm. He was such a wonderful person. Yeah, he was. He is. I mean, he's still out yeah. there somewhere. Are you in the long term apartments upstairs? No, ma'am. I just happened to have my problem with bad luck this year. I happen to be back here again. Okay. Not very long, I hope. She'll be in my house and pretty soon, probably by the first of the month. Good, good, good. Well, you know, you're always welcome to come over here. Right, yeah. If you need, if you would like to see Dr. Judy again, but mm -hmm. even if you don't, you can always come back to Soul Care because you know how to reach us over there. Yeah, I was over there today. And you I, can, I you guys today and you there. know that we're there on Wednesdays. Yeah, Wednesday mornings. So there's no reason that you, you wouldn't be able to get foot care. Right. Do you have neuropathy in your feet? Mm-hmm. They're in, pretty numb. Hands and feet. I 
it get really cold in the wintertime too. Yeah. I'm like, what kind of boots or gloves I wear. Where are you from originally? Are you from this area? No, I'm originally, I moved here from California, but I'm originally from Mississippi. Oh. How long have you been here? Since 74. Oh, you've been here more than you've been anywhere else then, probably. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, I call that home now, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Been over 40 years. You're going on 50. Mm -mm. You said 70 what? 74. 74, so you're close to 50. It'll be 50 years in 2024. Oh, well, yeah, you've been living here, yeah. Yeah, pretty close to it. Might as well, because I say this is home. It didn't change a lot. Don't get as much snow as you used to with the Okay, all right. You got one good one. Yeah, I see Really? That. You preserved a toenail. How nice. It's not uncommon, actually. We see that a lot. Does he have a corn right there at that joint? On the sec second toe? Here? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. He had one on the other one, too. Oh. We'll get to that. People like us that do feet, we live for this type of situation. We love <laughs> it. So bad. We you brought us like joy it. tonight. Yes. You still bring it to me. Good. Probably more joy from us than, than what you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> we love this. Growing these a long time. Okay, let me have you just relax a little bit. There you go. Believe it or not, we've seen way worse. worse. I can imagine. I have seen some. So you some don't think that this is anything all that out of the ordinary? Monday. And you, all these people walking around the cities mm -hmm. with shoes on? Yeah. That would never show their feet. feet. Who knows what's under there? Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Even probably people that are whatever, mm -hmm. in business, right. athletes, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Gary Delabate. Mm -hmm. We all know he's got fungal nails. Who is he? I don't know. It's an inside reference. Oh. So they said there was a lot of traffic because the viewers were about two blocks from Twin Stadium here. 
they said there's a double header going on tonight. Is that what he said? Yeah, the, I think there is. The twins have been doing good, so they're getting a good crowd. They've had a couple of games. This would be the second game here this week, I think. I think it would be earlier this week. Well, I didn't see the lights on at the stadium when I drove in, but... Yep, yeah, tell them all about dust. Okay. They're doing a double header. If they play a double header, do they start earlier? Yeah. Or, so they would have had an afternoon game and then they'd have a nighttime game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they probably just, you know... It's then you have to leave and come back and pay again? No. You have tickets for the doubleheader. Oh. That's how much I know. <laughs> I want to work down there, but I don't know a good way to get down there and home being You want to work down where? At the Twins Field. Doing what? Concessions. Yeah. For a nonprofit. But I don't know how to get there safely and get home safely. Well, well, no, the light rail ain't as safe as it used to be. That's what I'm thinking, because I used to drive the, ride the light rail all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll come back. You think? I do. Well, My daughter, well, back. I know they're doing more things now, like they're shortening the, so there's only two cars, so they're more compact people. Yeah, yeah. And then they're going to have more police presence. But my daughter was in Chicago for a while, and she said, Everyone had to have a ticket. They checked tickets when you got in, they which did. made a well, huge, they, they do huge that, difference. Yeah, they do that periodically, but not as much as they should do. No, she said there was never problems on there in, in yeah. Chicago because they always check tickets. Well, right. I think in the winter also people sleep. Well, yeah, they, they were letting and, the home that people sleep on there until right, they started got, until they got crazy. Yeah. They would try to jump on the, the driver and stuff, so now they don't. Oh. Okay. Well, and they aren't even right all night. They shut them down. They, yeah, they, they used yeah. to run all night. All night, yeah. They don't run all night. So they, they can't do that. The buses don't run all night no. anymore. Do different routes run later than other routes on buses? No. Well, I mean, well, the more frequent buses, like the 5, the C line, 14, 22, all, all the buses basically stop running at 1 o'clock.
Yeah, it feels like. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Thank you. So I should get them clipped every three months, huh? Yeah, most Basically. people don't need to come every month, but every two every or three. Two months. Yeah. This looks like it was probably two years. No. No? <laughs> about a year, though. Okay. It's about a year, because usually when they had to put down that Hennepin County when I was going to my diabetic uh, treatment, mm -hmm. I would, they would have to do them there, but they don't. They don't do them anymore. Yeah, they don't do them anymore, so it's kind of hard to. Yeah. That's my big pet peeve because mm -hmm. how can they say they're doing right. preventive care, care for the right. diabetic patients? Yeah. Yeah. I want to see if I can get just a little more of this stuff out here. There's a bunch of debris. Let me see another one. Deb, I'm going to have you come around and shoot from right here so that they can see what kind of debris there is in there. Okay, I think I've got it. So you can see down in here a lot of dead skin and stuff that just collects under the skin. And if we come look at the other one, you'll see how deep it can go sometimes. Okay, see that? that? Okay, so you can see all this space here was filled with debris, dead skin. There's still some in there, but it looks like a great big cavern in there now. Right. Just going to get that little piece out and then we'll be done. All right, my friend. Thank you so much, Dad. You are very welcome.